You start with Jennifer Moon. Yeah. <laughs> I was on, on Facebook last night. Michael always hears my Facebook exploits because they're not many, but like. <laughs> Jennifer declared on Facebook last night or the night before, she said, mm -hmm. I really am, I really am beautiful. The formal and the personal and the, it all kind of blends into one thing because her, her practice is this ongoing kind of living of a manifesto of complete personal revolution. In under seven minutes, I'm going to revolutionize the way you think about revolution. Jennifer is an artist who went to school at Art Center in the late 90s and was really a promising emerging artist. She did an important performance at China Art Objects uh, shortly after that gallery opened and was starting to get some attention and then largely disappeared from the scene um, in, uh, in part because of personal problems. Uh, she spent time in a uh, women's correctional facility and has written about that experience. And made work about it. Yeah, that work continued while she was in prison and after she came out. And her work as an artist and her interest in revolution, which is both always, I think in her case, revolution is always personal and political. It's, it, those categories are inextricably linked. If I believe wholeheartedly that I am enough, if I know that I already have everything that I would ever need within me, all of a sudden, I become present. The filter of lack lifts and I am able to see. I am able to see you beyond the fog of my beliefs. I am able to experience all the wonders of the world around me. I am free to create rather than react. And I am open for true connection. There's this fantastic kind of mix of uh, both very, the very theoretical, which I think comes from art school and her own interests, um, and then this kind of self-help sort of popular psychology, which I think she has both taken on and ingested and, and internalized and, and uses. Um, but also clearly is trying to critique at the same time. And then, like with her comic book, looking at sources like Dungeons and Dragons, the popular role-playing game. Hello, I'd like to thank everyone for attending my lecture. My name is Jennifer Moon and I'm a Los Angeles-based artist. Before I go on describing each character, I'd like to emphasize that these personas were created to facilitate this piece. I did not create the characters first and then add functions to them later. They were tools which helped actualize my ideas. Their personas were to function as symbols, not as actual separate people, but magnify characteristics of my personality. These ways in which identity is formed by uh, you know, all these different kinds of sources it, um, within culture, I think is really important to her. And it comes together in a really great way, not mm -hmm. only in the work, but in her writing as well. She's as committed to Deleuze as she is to love. And there isn't really a hierarchy between those. I think Made in LA will be a really important opportunity for her and an opportunity for more people to get to know her work. So, is there a need for revolution if you have everything? Yes. In fact, it is the only way for revolution to occur. The only way to attain the impossible, to grasp the unknown, to envision the unimaginable, is if we believe we already have everything. Jennifer, where can we find more of your work? Mugs, you're being good too. You're doing so good, Mugs. Yes, you are. Mugs, you are operating from a place of abundance. 
you are not operating from a place of lack.